Hey you guys, so happy new year and today we're gonna do some emoji insects and we're gonna start with the black widow and look at all her little babies. So okay, so in reality you guys, the black widow, like her eggs are usually almost the same size as her. So this is not to real life proportions because this egg is super big compared to her. So I got carried away you guys a little bit. <laughs> The egg usually hatches, it takes about 20 to 30 days for it to hatch and it, and they could, it could have between 200 to 900 babies. The sad part though is that most of these babies do not survive, only a handful survive and it's because of just like life and sometimes the babies eat each other so they turn cannibalistic and it's just like nature. <laughs> and the babies are born brownish, kind of like whitish. They look more like their father the male black widows are actually not black they're usually brownish slash grayish and they're way smaller than the black widow the females if you ever see a black widow it's because it's a female or like a if you see like a black black widow it's a it's a female so all the females are black and they're bigger than the males so the babies look more like their father than the than their mother somebody's working working all day and apparently the dirt mound does not want more leaves inside of it <laughs> and doing all the work <laughs> but ants are pretty strong and some of them can carry 50 times their own weight which is pretty impressive but like you know who is the strongest animal on this planet according to what i researched is a dung beetle which can pull a thousand or more times its own weight so pretty impressive right one of the smallest creatures is the strongest ones but like brute force i think it's the elephant but like a, like just like multiply its own body weight it would be the dung beetle but pretty impressive right so as of january 1st i was i thought that the, my comments were going to be taken away but it looks like i'm still getting comments from you guys so i'm super happy i guess i misread um youtube's like announcement because i thought they meant like as of january 1st all the all our comments were going to be taken away from people that make like cartoons and stuff but it looks like we are still gonna have our comments so i'm super happy because this is the way i communicate with you guys this is how i get ideas from you guys this is how we interact this is how like just like life <laughs> but hopefully i'm gonna do roblox in my next video so leave your roblox ideas down below so i can go ahead and work on that video next but here is our ant we're gonna go ahead and add the other side of the body and i'm try. i struggled with the antenna but like here is the best I could do with the antennas, but here it is. <laughs> no, is the fly swatter gonna get the fly? No, 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 I don't want it to get the fly. And it's not gonna even try to swat it when there's poop around, <laughs> cause like the mess it would create. <laughs> but I was like, how, like, when I think of flies, I think of poop. I feel like they just go together. So I'm gonna try my best here to recreate poop and recreate its texture, <laughs> but baby flies are the maggots i don't know if you guys ever seen those worms that are pretty creepy right they look pretty creepy right but they're like you can find them in trash on rotting vegetables just ro anything that's rotting flies can lay their eggs there and then they they hatch and then they turn into little little worms they just kind of crawl around and eat it their way <laughs> amazing right nature <laughs> i'm gonna keep on saying nature for this whole video <laughs> but flies cannot chew their food so what they do is they spit on whatever they're gonna eat and then that that spit like it's an enzyme that kind of like starts liquefying whatever it touches and then like the flies use their little straw mouth to just kind of slurp up their food so it's pretty impressive how every little creature has adapted to the way they survive and how they eat and how they just like live life and so we're gonna try at our little wings and here it is Ooh, it looks like the praying mantis found its next meal. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, it looks like that's not gonna happen today because <laughs> of this leaf. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you guys seen the praying mantis that look like orchids? Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So like... Work... I feel like they're like works of art. <laughs> Nature creates some like beautiful works of art, definitely. But they are so beautiful. I don't know. And then there's some other ones that look like leaves, kind of like dry leaves, kind of like brown leaves. Oh, so beautiful. But 
Capri and Mantis are masters of disguise. They are really good at camouflaging. There's been a few moments where I've encountered encounter, encountered them. <laughs> Can I speak? <laughs> and I don't know. I just always get like com like I always get surprised. I'm like, what? You were there the whole time. I didn't even see you till now. Like, how were you hiding there? But so so for this video, I wanted to do emoji insects, right, you guys? But I couldn't figure out how to do the faces on the insects, like the emoji faces on the insects. So I decided to just kind of put the insects on things that I think they would be on. So for here, we're going to do the leaf because like the times that I've seen praying mantis, the ones that I've seen are the green ones and they usually are on leaves, which makes sense because they kind of blend in perfectly with it. But we're going to try our best to recreate it. And here it is. So here's a cheese slice with its BFF and no, the sparrow took away its BFF, <laughs> no cockroach. <laughs> but apparently cockroaches have been around for millions of years and they have they can date back to the Carboniferous period. I'm pretty sure I said it wrong. <laughs> but during this period, there was a lot of large insects. So. If you do not like insects and there is a time traveling machine by the time you watch this video I, <laughs> I definitely would not suggest you guys go back to this period because insects were pretty big they were definitely bigger than the ones that we currently have today and the reason for it was because there was more oxygen in the atmosphere back in that day so they had more an opportunity to grow I guess like I don't know but they were pretty big <laughs> so if you're scared of insects definitely do not go back in that time <laughs> And insects seem gross, but it, they do provide a vital source of food for many organisms. And even humans in, eat insects. I know I've seen people eat crickets and grasshoppers, snails, and it's just like this part of the culture. It's like, it's not anything strange. I'm not, I can't say that I've ever tried to eat insects. I should probably give it a try though, because apparently it seems to be more of a sustainable for, source of protein. Um, for this planet for us to consume than whatever else we have been consuming. So apparently it's more sustainable to raise insects and mammals and you know other wildlife <laughs> other animals <laughs> But we're gonna add the antenna to this cockroach Oh, wait, actually no this little other hands and then we're gonna add our antenna and I think it turned out pretty adorable What do you guys think? So look at this little snail chilling on this mushroom and for some reason they just go together. Look at all the love. Mushrooms and snails just go together. <laughs> but there are three groups of snails and there's land snails, sea snails, and freshwater snails. And the snail that I'm doing today, it is the land snail and the one that got inspired by it is the garden snail. So you know the ones that are up early in the morning crossing the sidewalks that you need to carefully walk around so you don't crush them those are the ones that i got inspired from and it looks like those are the ones that are turned into food so there's this thing called well there's like a dish called escargot i think that's i think that's what the dish is called but it's french cuisine and it's basically snails that people eat and i've never tried them i feel like i should try them because i'm really into shellfish and it looks like like I'm into like mussels, clams, oysters, just basically, I, I love me some oysters, but it looks like they're part of the same fa family, which is a mollusk family. But for some reason, I'm just scared to try snails, the escargot, but maybe I should try it because like it is a thing. I don't know. Maybe I should try it. I am definitely a foodie and I feel like I give everything a try for the most part, but for some reason insects, I, I don't know, I could do shellfish, but for some reason insects, but like I read somewhere that shellfish are like the insects of the ocean or the sea. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared of the insects of just land, <laughs> but yeah, so like the garden snow that I'm doing today is a vegetarian for the most part, so they be eating mushrooms and just like basically everything leaves and stems and plant crops and bark and fruits and whatever just they be eating everything <laughs> so we're gonna try our best to recreate the little eyes and i was a little scared on how i was gonna do the eyes and stuff because i'm like if i try to do it not on the actual clay it's probably gonna break off so i'm gonna do it this way 
so that it's more secure and it doesn't break off so it's kind of like hugging the not hugging but it's like actually on the mushroom and for the shell i'm gonna make a little cave in here so we can snugly put it in there did i just make that up snugly <laughs> the painting for the shell i wasn't sure in what direction i was gonna do but what did help me a lot is mixing water with acrylic paint it just kind of makes it a little bit easier for everything to, everything to blend so the color looks darker here and i thought i was gonna do black you guys and just leave it like this kind of but then i realized I, I just didn't like it at, at all so i went back with a lot of water and kind of tried to erase it and then this is how i ended up and i think it looks pretty cool what do you guys think so now we're gonna go ahead and bake them we're gonna glaze them and then we're gonna put them on our fridge do you guys want insects on your fridge near your food well that's what's gonna happen if you put these <laughs> on your fridge but i hope you guys have an awesome day thanks so much for watching and i love you guys bye